Hillary Clinton has clinched the Democratic Party nomination and walked into history, becoming the first female presidential candidate to ever represent a major American political party. Park ji has the details. Former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton secured the Democratic Party nomination during a roll call vote on Tuesday evening, becoming the first female presidential candidate to ever represent a major party in U.S. history. During a roll call vote at the Democratic National Convention in Philadelphia, states read out their delegate allocations for Clinton and her rival, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders. The state of New York pledges 108 delegates to Senator Bernie Sanders and applauds him for his call for unity for all Democrats. And New York State pledges 181 delegates for the next president of the United States, Hillary Rodham Clinton. When all was said and done, there were 1,865 votes for Sanders and 2,842 votes for Clinton, well past the required 2,382. The vote ended with a gesture of solidarity from Sanders, who moved to make the nomination unanimous. And I move that Hillary Clinton be selected as the nominee of the Democratic Party for President of the United States. The main attraction of the day was the speech by the nominee's husband, former President Bill Clinton, who offered personal anecdotes about how his wife has dedicated her life to making people's lives better, presenting her as a real change maker. Cartoons are two-dimensional. They're easy to absorb. Life in the real world is complicated and real change is hard. And a lot of people even think it's boring. Good for you, because earlier today, you nominated the real one. After the nomination and the speeches, Hillary Clinton also made a brief appearance via video from New York. And I can't believe we just put the biggest crack in that glass ceiling yet. I may become the first woman president, but one of you is next. Thank you all. I can't wait to join you in Philadelphia. Thank you. Clinton is scheduled to give her acceptance speech on Thursday, and then she will turn her attention to campaigning against Republican nominee Donald Trump ahead of Election Day on November 8th. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.